What's going on guys? Knight here. Today we're playing some Danganronpa V3. Right now we're on chapter 1 and personally I was going to play the whole thing again but I don't know. I felt like it wouldn't be as genuine to play the whole thing again and not have in my actual reaction. So right now we're just going to play it from chapter 1 and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So let's keep on going here. From there, everyone else can decide what should be done. My desire is to fulfill the desires of the others, so I shall comply with everyone's final decision. I shall observe. Your beauty, as you all accept that the end is upon you. So let's go and find Miyu. Uh, is she in our room? Uh, classroom A, okay. Gonta. What happened? Kaide, something happened? Gonta see Rantara walk by. His face looks scary. Um, yeah, about that. Ryoma and Rantara got into a fight. No can do that. Fight? Where? Gonta go stop them. No. no, it's fine now, so we don't need to worry about it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Going to not where he need it most. No. Don't worry about it. If Angie hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known about it either. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Anyway, Karumi, Kyo, and Angie are in the dining hall today. How about you eat breakfast with them? Oh, really? Then going to go to dining hall. Bye, going to. Uh, that's the bathroom. Good morning, Kaide. Morning. Hey, so earlier I saw Suichi. Huh? What? Um, I saw Suichi come out to Miu's research lab. Oh, you don't say. I wonder what he was doing in there so early in the morning. I don't think anything happened, but in a life or death situation like this, Do you, wanna try? you would expect people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? Um, um I don't think so. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Now's not the time for that. The time limit's up tonight anyway. Hmm. After going through so much, it's strange, but I feel like I've come to accept it. Oh, yeah. Uh, how should I feel the last day of my life? Classroom A. Shuichi. Sorry I'm late, Suichi. No. Uh, it's alright. I just got here too. Um, How'd it go? Did Miu finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take picture when the sensor detects motive movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course they are turned off right now so they aren't taking any pictures. Hmm. Since they're disposable cameras will have to manually wind the film, right? No. Yeah, Smita thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. So once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered. Okay. 
She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent so to not attract attention. They're completely silent? This is perfect. It needs to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. And do these cameras have flash? Yes, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They sh shouldn't be a problem. But we need to make sure they don't get accidentally turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. Yeah, I'll be careful. I'm impressed though. Mew modified them to our specifications. Alright, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. Huh? Tell me about this classroom. Is that all right? Yes, I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um, That's fine, but why this classroom? Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Yeah, you're right. We can give a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason. Hey. It's because of something. Something that's only here. Is this a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell? After Switchy told me, I leaned in closer to the vent. Uh. Oh, it smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Well. It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember, Remember the duct we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. But a vent in a classroom, that's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about the school is odd. Uh, um... This vent is the only reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully too. Mm. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it would be tough. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Yeah. Anyways, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. Ugh, my heart is racing. So, where do you want to place the cameras? Let's aim the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place a security sensor on the bookcase itself, when, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase, yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then where are we going to put the other two sensors? Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That way we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. But how about over there? Didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit through it? I think it will be fine since we'll be keeping watching the classroom. 
But we should investigate a little more just in case. But we can't reach that high. Hmm. We'll need something to stand on. I guess we can... The glow? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll break if I stand on it. Oh! I can probably use this ladder. I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. This is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Bruh. <laughs> uh, sorry. Come on, man. You did see them. My guy went full terror terror mode. Uh, well, whatever. You can't unsee them. Anyways, this is the vent. There's great cover in the vent, so I don't think anyone could go through. Can I take the grate off? There we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw a look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duck. Then I lift my body and looked inside. Look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm. It would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. With that, I begin to rearrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Are you okay? Kaede, what's wrong? Dot dot dot. Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, I definitely... Ah, yeah, definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Choplin's Ballads. You know? I actually really like complicated contractions like Rube Goldberg's machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um... You really think so? Of course, we'll definitely catch the mastermind, and then we'll all escape. All right. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between the books so that... Uh. Oh, hold on. I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But... Uh, but with the books stacked up, I don't know if there's room for the camera. Then I'll test it while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right. That way, we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, All right, let's do it! I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm, there's way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with plus cluttered stacks of books. All right. This is nothing! As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Geez, there's too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. Hmm, I thought so. No. Wait, I just had to try a little harder. Hey. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. I continued moving the letter as I kept reorganizing the books. 
Geez, these books are so heavy. What is this? An encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Wait. Ah, Kaede, is this really the time to be reading a book? Sorry, I get distracted easily while when I'm organizing things. Bruh. <laughs> After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um. Looks like there's too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? Mm. It'll be easier if I can move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. Right. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the master my notice in the cameras. Now, I guess it would be better to put the camera between the books like you suggested. Yeah. You look oddly happy. Uh, um, no, I don't. Uh, if we put them on the top of the bookcase, the angle won't quite reach. Aww. Aww. Then here I thought it would be a good idea. Is that all right? So about the places to put the cameras. We decided to put the security sensor on the top of the moving bookcase. And the camera link into it will be set up right here. That way, we'll capture the movements. Capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. We're going to place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and the bookcase is good. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they use. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Now set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Let me take the take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks! Yeah. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Yeah. Alright, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. Hmm. Now, no matter which interest they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that. And signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, just probably? It'll definitely work. Mm -hmm. Alright then, the final step. Turn the sensors on. All right, we should turn them on before we leave. All right. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it. It'll be a waste of film if it took our pictures. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. Oh, it's time. Mm -hmm. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, once we get out of there, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. You're right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. I wonder if there's going to be a double murder in this um, episode since the 
Bird will have impunity for their first murder. Whoever decides to murder. Will be real interested in how they do this one. They usually do two murders in the third case, though. Upon entering the cat last room, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then... Let's keep the door open a little, so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um... uh, Kaede, about the security sensor receiver. Hey. Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Oh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No, you hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Suichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, um. Talk to me? It's probably none of my business, but I think it should be more confident. Right? Especially since the ultimate initiative selected you as the no as the ultimate detective. No. No, really. I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm I didn't even want to be a detective. My uncle re runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as a apprentice. It's usually just cheating couples, background checks. But one day I came across a murder case completely by chance. I solved it in the police before the police did. They called me the boy detective. And that's when I got scouted by the, the ultimate initiative. Though I only solved one case. Even so, it's still amazing you were able to solve a murder case. Most people couldn't do that. I did it plenty of times. No. I wonder. I wonder if, uh, it was only a really good thing I solved the case. The look on his face when he caught it. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later, I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. Well, damn. <laughs> Yo. And I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. And that's not true. It's not like he took sides. You don't cover the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth. Which makes it my fault. Now I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid chase that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um... uh anyways. That's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm, I'm no real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed Suichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Kaede? I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, you should be too. Well, I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. 
so please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear the hat. What? Now he looks cooler with the hat, for real. Huh? What, what are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once we get out of here, I want you, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expression people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. It's like Luffy. Oh, she's trying to find a One Piece too. After a serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer, and then suddenly the moment arrived. Oh, what? <laughs> huh? Yo. <laughs> What's this weird music? Is it coming from the monitor? Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. Oh, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want, us, want from us? Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? Huh? People talking? Oh, does that mean someone got got? I focus my attention on the hallway. I can hear a group of boys and girls talking. I try my best to listen, but while I peer through the gap of the classroom door, I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Kaito, Gontan, Maki, Miko, Angie, Kimiko, and Rantaro, too? The seven continue to walk down the stairs. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantaro was with them, too. Didn't he say he would end this game? It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all headed to the basement right now. Could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gonta, Mikey, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rentara. One of them is the mastermind? No. It's unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. No. They're not planning to uh, go into the library, are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? All right. I'm going to check out the basement. Uh. I'll come with you. No. no. You say keep watch, Kaede. With that sushi dashed off. The dashed out of the classroom. Uh. Huh? Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. Oh, I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom and started cleaning for no reason at all. What? <laughs> I had to move my body. The anxiety was getting to me. Suichi, please come back already. 
I continued to distract myself with cleaning what until Suichi finally came back. Kaede, why are you sweeping? Huh? Oh, oh, uh, no reason. Anyways, what's up? What about the people down in the basement? Okay. Everything is okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? There's only one hour until the time limit. Yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure a mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when the time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. That has happened so suddenly. Oh! Oh, oh I wonder who's in the library. My heart nearly leaped out of my chest as the receiver in Suichi's hand suddenly went off. Suichi, the receiver. So I moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kayade. Suichi sprinted out the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait, wait for me. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Suichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. Yeah, this means it's crazy. All right. Kaede, let's go inside. Yeah. Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had to ball my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Suichi, who had his hand on the door. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Got it. Well, never mind. Your time is perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Nice. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Huh? Strategy meeting? Yeah. When the time hits, we're going to fight Monokuma. We've got a plan for the battle. We thought it would be hard for Monokuna to get to the basement, so we're going to the game room. Hey. Hold on, both of you, come with us. The Mastermind's in the library. Uh -huh. Huh? The Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now, you need to come with us. We might be able to end this kindergarten. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? I don't really understand, but you just need me to Akito throw whoever's inside, right? No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take them down. Uh, this isn't a competition. I'm going to open the door right now, okay? Oh, God. He's in here. With him feeling the mastermind so close at hand, all the anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had moved on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where's the mastermind? We quickly moved towards the moving bookcase. And then, not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw... Oh... Yo, who is it? Yo, Rintaro? Bruh. He was the last person I was expecting. Rintaro Amani, who yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us, lay dead on the ground. Oh, God. Bruh, he was the last guy I expected to die. No, we're gonna find it as ultimate. 
What in the world? What the hell's going on? Oh, don't tell me his body's blocking the camera so it didn't take a picture. Ah! Right after Tenko screamed, the front door of the library burst open, and four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? What happened? Come to hear scream. Huh? Blood! So much blood! Yeah. Huh? Isn't that Rintaro? What's wrong with him? He's dead. What? He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Bro, why is she... Oh, nonchalant. How can you be so calm? Suichi examined Rontaro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breeding. It's no use. We're too late. He shook his head. No way. Too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? He's dead? My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rentaro here? And... The monitor is off. There's no longer displaying non Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the Mastermind is dead? Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rentaro was... This means the killing game has started, huh? 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 What? Killing game? Then someone killed Rentaro and... Uh. Wait, maybe not. What do you mean, maybe not? Um. Maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe it just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind. Rentaro is the mastermind. Huh? What? The mastermind? Uh, um... I don't know how he died, but Rantara was in the library before the time limit ended. That's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this, and if he's dead. Oh, it's time. <laughs> what? A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather in the library! I thought there's no trial for this one. What a relief! A murder took place just before time ran out. Monokuma, but how? I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there because the killing game hasn't started yet. Jeez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. How? The mastermind controlling you is. Ah. My mastermind? Do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? And you think it was Rentaro? Aw, no, oh, what an imagination. Of course that's wrong. <laughs> if the mastermind had died, this killing game would be over. That's wrong. But, but... The victim was Rentaro, the ultimate. Who cares? <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. What are you talking about? Suichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? No. He. Monokuma's wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rentaro the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, we came out here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. Rentaro was the only one who could have moved the bookcase. Wouldn't that mean he was trying to use the hidden door? And that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Uh, um, what? Why is he dead? It's no use. It's no good. I don't know. 
I don't know. Suichi? The pictures. We can check the pictures. I'm sure the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung wide open. Run, Taro! But why? Th that's Ring Taro? Oh, thank God. I thought it was a pile of dirty rags. Bruh. What? <laughs> so this hap this ended up happening after all. Kee <laughs> My, my. What a world this is. So full of jokes like this. Oh. What? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rentaro is dead? Oh, I mean... Was killed! Stop it. That's the same thing. Hmm. How ironic. The guy who wanted to, to live ended up dead, and the guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So, can someone explain the meaning of all of this? Hmm? Nah. An explanation isn't necessary. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so that would just be a waste of time. With that said, if you're the black and who killed Rentaro, raise your hand. What? The one who killed Rentaro? Male. I knew it. A degenerate male killed Rentaro, didn't he? How how do you know boy do it? I, you. I just know it, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Yeah. <laughs> that dumbass. How dare he go and get himself killed? Who the hell did it? I'll freaking punch you in the orbit. <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off your graduating classmate with a warm farewell. Giant Earth sign. Let's go. <laughs> it's getting interesting. Oh, send them off with hosp hospitality with a bunch of cat popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna burst out the exiles. Oh, oh I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> Slurp. Nothing beats crashing a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashings. I'll throw a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane. Like fishing with dynamite. So, so whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on the convenience store clerks. Bruh. Then congratulations. Would the black and who's about to graduate please raise their hand? What? What the? No one's raising their hand. You bastards! Hey, didn't you hear me? All the black and has to do is graduate and speak up, you know. Huh? No one's stepping forward. What's going on? I see how it is. The Blacken has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Oh, what? We're doing a class trial? Okay. Excuse me? Very well, then. I'll give the Blacken what they want and hold a class trial. Wow! Now this is a spicy twist. Hold on. Wait, what the heck's going on? Got it. Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial so you bastards can find Rantaro's killer. So. Get it right, and only the black will be punished. But if you get it wrong... <laughs> simultaneous surgery. Brain and knee, and then brain surgery again. Everyone besides the Blacken will be punished. Everyone besides the Blacken? 
everyone? This outcome is much worse. The culprit should have stepped forward. Yes, sir. But before we can hold the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue who did it. So you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves too? Of course. The investigation is what makes the killing game so good. You guys are going to investigate this crime and uncover the truth. The black and sandy work has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Alright, the trial will begin soon, so please give the investigation your all. Farewell. Let's get going then. Wait. Wait. Where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rentaro's death, right? If we can't figure it out when who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I don't want to be annihilated. The girl should be allowed to live at least. Bro, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a cute normal girl who can use magic, you know. You're the last person who should be calling herself cute. Do not fret. I just imagined this as something out of a police drama or detective manga. Do you agree? Right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Uh, right. Impossible. I'm in trouble. I never read police dramas or detective manga. <laughs> Fucking Kiba. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We only need to converse with the corpse. A corpse is not simply a dead person. This is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Yes, but coming face to face with the corpse, you'll learn a great many things. <laughs> Why are you getting excited? You're not in the dead bodies, are you? Actually. But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Mm -hmm. The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. That's not the problem here. Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe it's you. Uh... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the culprit? Only a two on those. <laughs> you know can't choose that. How exciting. Ah ha ha. Everyone's competing to see who's more paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um... For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? huh? Hey. If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder, not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Hmm. Ah, did I say something wrong? You're so direct and assertive. Uh, um... uh, no, I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. All right. I agree, Suichi. Actually, you just say exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Males are degenerate creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is the girls give birth to them. Gonta not smart. Not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone. I'll work hard with Atua's guidance. I am much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As a novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. If this is what everyone desires, and I shall give this task my all. Okay. You can leave it to me. I'll find a culprit in no time. 
Phew. I'm glad. No one's given up yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is what must be done. You will try. Otherwise, Rentaro will die for, died for nothing. You have to do it. I won't give up. We'll escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well then. So, let's get started. We need to do this, so poor Rentaro won't have any regrets, and so we can survive. Okay. Yes, let's find a culprit who killed Rentaro. Yeah. You're right, let's do it. Thank you, Suichi. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Ooh, I wonder what the investigation means it's like. Hmm. This isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but... It's okay. At least you guys seem to like you're getting into it. You again? The fuck are you doing here? Don't be so crude. I come here to bring you all a wonderful present. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Ta-da! A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. Bruh. <laughs> Could it be? The death? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Oops. My bad. It's the Monokuma file. You did that on purpose, didn't you? The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to the black end because that would ruin the trials. Let's all get along. I don't know. Maybe you guys will find it useful since you are, you're not so experienced investigators, you know. <laughs> Monokuma file. Like, hell am I gonna believe something he made? No. Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents, no? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He said we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. Yeah, I think we should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. The victim is Rentaro Amani. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. The victim was subject to a blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Monokuma file 1 has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. It doesn't say anything whether it doesn't say whether or not he's a mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is going on, so I'm going to assume he wasn't, right? But if Rentaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually, I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rentaro is really dead. This is the Mastermind's fault. No the Mastermind killed Rantaro. That's... Mastermind? I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Please. Kaede, please explain what's going on and spare us no detail. Yes. Yeah, I will. Suichi and I explain to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the Mastermind hiding among us and about the trap we had set in the library to learn him out. And that the person who snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check and discover Rancharo's body. Understood. I see. So that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. So you used those cameras I modified? Yeah. So you used those cameras I modified for this bullshit? 
But why would he keep something so important a secret from us? Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's what you guys were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But... But if there are cameras, won't this case be solved really easily? Oh man, that's so boring. Wait! Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. <laughs> the culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Right, another manga reference. <laughs> All right, let me go get the cameras. So we should quickly retrieve all three cameras and rush back to everyone. Is that all right? Okay, I got them. Well. It was hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Because... Well, I really didn't want the camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Here, it's these three cameras. Uh, um... Now we have to develop the film. Allow me to perform that task. That's amazing. Wow, is there anything the ultimate mate can't do? I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, then just leave it to me. Huh? huh? I'll, do it. I'll develop the film so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Because <laughs> if you guys get punished, It'll be way too gory. Hey, no bun in our. She ignored my objection, walked to, up to Suichi, and took the cameras from him. Ah! I'm a strong, sensual woman. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> hey, give those back. No, no need to worry. We all have to follow the rules. We don't do anything underhand or devious. So, I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Wait! Give the cameras back! It was pointless to yell at her. Monofini left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my! Ah! Oh, there she goes! No. That's the important evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was... I was being careless. Um... It's probably okay. She says she develops photos, then give photos back. That's right. And she says she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. Looks like we have no choice but to believe that. Kazatua is watching over us. It's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not what I'm... That's not at all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. But now we're in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey. Ah, oh, Kaede. I have a proposal for you. Is that alright? If that's alright with you, we can keep working together during the trial. Like we're doing now. Suichi? I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. Let's go. No, I... I want to help you. Shuichi. Of course. With you at my side, it'll be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's just get started already. And let's try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually, it takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before you start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Why? In other words. If we let the culprit work by himself, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Huh? Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us. <laughs> if each of us watched the other. No one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kurumi. That's right. It's not something we should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, 
but we don't find a culprit. We'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. Alright, I like this investigation music, but I think I'm going to end it off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So long, farewell.